This week on Espressos with Entrepreneurs, we're turning coffee on its head, literally, with the AeroPress method. So welcome back. We are in week three of Reverb Coffee's Coffee Summer School. Um, we're back in uh, Lone Wolf Video's headquarters. If there's a little bit of an echo, it's because there's some uh, renovations going on here. So I'm actually going to be moving next door to a larger room. So maybe Ooh, we'll see that soon. Lone Wolf's expanding. Oh. Um, so anyway, so yeah, if there's a little echo during this portion, I'm sorry. There's uh, We're recording in an empty room with concrete floors. So, you it's know. It's going to happen. So, uh, as we said at the beginning, we got another coffee uh, brewing method for you, the AeroPress method. I wasn't, yes. a, I wasn't really familiar with this one, so okay. you probably won't be either. Yeah. Um, so tell us about it, Jerem. What's it all got going for? Well, it's made by uh, the company Aerobi. They make Frisbees, but they also make yeah. a coffee brewer. It's just kind of this random thing that everybody in the specialty coffee industry is using, and it's it makes a delicious cup of coffee, and it's it's super easy, so I enjoy it. Um, like you said, it's not very popular among most circles, but I figured we'd just show it in case somebody likes it and wants to give it a try. They'll know how to do it when they have it. So, so I guess the question on everyone's mind is: Is this can this brewer double as a frisbee? Uh, I think they'll see in just a second that it probably wouldn't go very far. So yeah. don't take it out to your disc golf. Uh, round next time it probably won't shoot very well it's always nice to have things that can pull double duty yeah all right well cool so let's get to it and you can learn what this aeropress thing is all about it's all about great coffee for the greater good well welcome back to another lesson in reverb coffee summer school uh, today we're going over the aeropress uh, first things first i use what is called the inverted brew method of the aeropress uh, most tutorials you see you're going to use this method so it's not anything out of the ordinary so let's go over what you're going to need uh, obviously you're going to need the whole aeropress system you're going to get whenever you buy one you're going to get this these two little contraptions some paper filters and the filter holder so there's that you need a, a coffee cup some freshly roasted freshly ground coffee in this method you don't absolutely have to have a precision pour kettle but it does help um, and you may or may not need a scale and I'll go over that later so those are all the tools you're gonna need so let's go ahead and get started first things first I'm gonna tell you how to get your AeroPress into the inverted mode sounds like a snowboard trick but it's pretty simple these are the two main brewing pieces that you're gonna have so take this one with the rubber stopper Hold it like this, put the one with the riding on just like that. Put the little rubber stopper just below the number four circle. It's pretty simple, that's all you need to do. And then like any other brewing method we've gone over, I like to go ahead and heat everything up before I brew. So just pour a little bit of water into your newly inverted AeroPress. Take your filter and just pour some hot water over into your cup. Be careful not to burn yourself here. Once that's done, we're, we're good and ready to go. Go ahead and dump your water out. And unlike uh, methods in the past, I actually don't really have a ratio for you. Um, if you look at a lot of methods and a lot of blogs, everybody's got their own recipe. But today what I'm doing is just trying to really strip it down for you and keep it as simple as possible. So I'm using 18 grams of coffee. If you don't have a scale, it's about a tablespoon and a half, a little bit less than that. And you know, you can play with it if it's too strong, take a little bit less or add a little bit more if you want to. So your, your brewer is heated up, so let's go ahead and dump the grounds in there and get started. Another piece that should come with your AeroPress is this little thing. It's a funnel to get your coffee down in there a little bit better since it's such a narrow gap to get it in there. So pour it through there, give it a 
a little tap. Shake it around, get your grounds all in there good. Really, it's very simple from here on out. We're just gonna go ahead and do a really slow pour. And you wanna go ahead and put some water almost all the way to the top, but leave a little room for the brewer and a little room for air when you turn it over and extract your coffee. So once you're done pouring, go ahead and put your filter on. Let it sit for just a second. Obviously dump out your water from your coffee cup and then turn it over and you're ready to brew. So give it just a second to get started and then give it a nice slow press down. And here's where you can kind of tell if your grind is right. You should feel a little bit of pressure coming back when you're pressing down, but not a whole lot. I'm just barely putting any weight on this and it's as you can see extracting pretty easily. Don't feel like you gotta mash and knock the cup over to get your coffee out. And in a second you'll hear a hissing noise that kind of tells you that the coffee is all the way done and all you're doing is getting air out. And there's my hissing noise so I'm ready to stop and turn it over. And there you go. Got a nice, nice cup of AeroPress coffee. So what I really like about the AeroPress is that it gives you the full immersion of the French press, but it also gives you the paper filter of a pour over or any other basic method. So you get the, the body and the full effect of the full immersion, but you also get the clarity from that paper filter and the, the air extraction. So it makes a really simple cup of coffee. If you're traveling, you can take it along with you and you got some, some good coffee to go. So enjoy. So there you have it, it's the AeroPress method, a fast and easy and, you know, kind of a unique method. So get you one and show off to your friends and hopefully you're learning something and enjoying this summer series from us. I know one thing I've learned this week, that short tables and tall chairs don't mix well. This is a really awkward seating position. But anyway, so uh, if you watch this today on Friday, the 4th of July, then what we're about to talk about will be relevant if not. Um, you can reminisce about yesterday or last week or uh, prepare for, and hold it off for next year. Watch it next year. Yeah. If you're, you know, watch to this point, like stop and then watch it next July 3rd. But uh, July 4th, huh? That's today. So go America. Go grill some hot dogs, some hamburgers. Let's blow some crap up. Yep. Make legally. an apple pie. Make an apple pie and then eat it. Yes. Or if you don't, if you're allergic to apples or don't like it, then you know, donate it to someone else yeah. in need or a neighbor that might just like apple pie. But you know, it's the 4th, so do 4th of July stuff. Yes. And you know, if you have a favorite tradition or a favorite dish or something, you know, put it down in a little thingy below. Mm -hmm. Let everybody else see what you like to do. Post pictures of your favorite cheesy patriotic shirt. Oh, um, that's some good stuff. Listen to some country music or uh, Bruce Spring Springsteen. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, just play the crap out of this Patreon song today. Born in the USA. Mm -hmm. That should be our outro music. Yeah, I it wasn't a copyright that, yeah, thing. Thank but you. You can go listen to it You're on YouTube. There's another another video probably has that on it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's it. The AeroPress method. We've still got a few more to go. Believe it or not, there's there's more than you know, three or four methods of making coffee. So Jeremy's gonna bring us another one next week. And uh, in the meantime, uh, if you liked this video, like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, watch our previous videos if you haven't, uh, like our Facebook pages, follow us on Twitter, uh, Google+, Plus, all that stuff. And um, until next time, don't take yourself too seriously and blow something up. America.